So perfect timing for joining me now, Democratic Senator from California and member of the Budget Committee, Alex Padilla. So good to see you, Senator. Uh, you have been working with the Budget Committee on Infrastructure. I know you believe this is critically important. So would it make smart strategic sense to do what Senator Collins and other moderate Democrats are asking, as well as Republicans, delay a motion to begin debate tomorrow? Uh, no, look, after four years of infrastructure week, it's time to get it done. Uh, and, uh, so they actually, might here's say, real... so what's a few more days? So, so what's a few more days? You know, how much more time do they need? Four weeks ago, uh, the bipartisan group stood in front of the White House with the President of the United States saying they had a deal. So how can you have a deal four weeks ago and you don't have a deal today? The only thing I can really observe is there's uh, increasing chatter, maybe pressure on Republicans from folks who don't want to invest in additional IRS enforcement, making sure that large corporations and the wealthy are paying their fair share of taxes. If that's what's causing them to get cold feet, uh, that's a, a significant indicator. So well, I think you know, package, though, Senator, that a big holdup is paid for. So what do you exactly. say to folks who say, we should make sure we've seen the numbers from the Congressional Budget Office. We should make sure that we've nailed down the pay fors no, look, and that was one of the significant pay-fors. That's why I bring up the IRS uh, enforcement piece. So if they're getting cold feet on that, uh, they should just be more transparent and honest with us about getting cold feet on the whole deal. And if they're not, then I'm sure they're going to be uh, ready. Remember, tomorrow's vote is only a procedural vote. It's not the package itself. They need a couple more days, plenty of time to substitute that final package in for a vote on infrastructure early next week, not on procedure. So while that continues, there's, as you very well know, rising concern about the increasing numbers of coronavirus cases, not just here, but around the world and the impact on the global economy. I don't need to tell you, California is, I think, the fifth largest economy in the world. The stakes are incredibly high. Do you think, for example, it was smart for L.A. County to reinstate a mask mandate, including those who are fully vaccinated? And, and what else needs to be done to get a handle on this? Yeah, look, I think it's smart when policymakers at the federal, state, and at the local levels follow the science and heed the advice of public health officials. So in Los Angeles County, with this reimposed mask mandate, uh, it's reflective of the dynamics on the ground. Numbers are up in Los Angeles County, as they are in a number of states across the country. And so this is what happens. This is what happens when not everybody who should be vaccinated by now is vaccinated. It's what happens when, even though uh, in certain areas you don't have to necessarily wear a mask outdoors, but you're recommended to indoors, particularly around people who aren't vaccinated, you don't heed those public safety protocols, the numbers are going to go up. It shouldn't be a shock to anybody. We're all in this together. So if you've been vaccinated, great. Thank you. If you haven't been vaccinated, what are you waiting for? Vaccines are available. Vaccines are free. And it's not until everybody does what we need to do that we can completely and safely reopen schools, reopen our economy. And finally, before I let you go, if, if I can ask you about uh, the massive wildfires this year, uh, Senator. According to Cal Fire, I think there have been more than 900 more fires this year than there were the same time last year. What's not getting done that needs to get done to address this and how urgent is it? I think what's not getting done, and we can come back to the infrastructure package discussions, is bold action on climate change. The reason wildfires keep getting worse is, you know, double whammy, the impact of the drought in California and extreme heat, hotter and hotter heat waves, all attributable to climate change. So while we need to, you know, combat the fire, try to mitigate uh, devastation and impact in the short term, we need bold action on climate change for the long term. Senator Alex Padilla, good to see you. Busy time on Capitol Hill. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. We appreciate it. Good to see you again.